Hi guys, this is Dr. Khan. Hope you guys are all doing well. Happy new day. Today we will be working on grade two, module five, lesson five. Module five, lesson five. We will quickly start out with our fluency practice. So 170 plus what gives us 200? 170 plus what gives us 200? So you want to put the big number in your, the, 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 the first number in your brain, 170, and count up. 180, 190, 200. So you have each finger is representing 110. You have 10, 20, 30. So 30. 170 plus 30 equals 200. Let's move on to the next problem. 190 plus what gives you 200? So again, put 190 in your brain and count up. 190, 200. This one finger represents 110, which is 10, right? So 190 plus 10 equals 200, right? Awesome, awesome job. Now let's move on to our application problem. Jenny had 39 collectible cards. Tammy gave her 39 more. How many collectible cards does Jenny have now? So I'll read that again. Remember, read, draw, write. So we, we're rereading. Jenny had 39 collectible cards, right? Tommy gave her 36 more. How many collectible cards does she have now? Okay, so firstly, I am going to conceptually represent this. Jenny has 39 cards. Tommy gave her 36 more, right? How many does she have now? That's what we need to figure out, okay? Again, I conceptually represented this in another form. First using a tape diagram, then a number line. Okay, great, great work. Now, what will I do? Hmm. So I want you to turn and talk to your partners near you, whoever's next to you, family members, and discuss what this might look like. How would you solve this? Is this an addition problem? Are you going to use subtraction? How are you going to do this? Pause the video, unpause. Okay, good work. So I am going to use, I'm going to add these two numbers to get the totals. I am going to use the number bond method, okay? So I'm going to look at the second addend, right? And I'm going to ask myself, hmm, looking at this first addend, what will give me the next 10? What will give me the next 10? I know one will, right? Because 39 plus one is 40. So I, I decompose this 36 into a one, and then I write the remainder, the, left, the remainder number, the leftover number. Right, so one plus 35 equals 36. So 39 plus one equals 40, and then you add the leftover. 40 plus 35 equals 75, awesome job. The reason I did it this way was because, again, when you use the next 10 method using a number bond, it helps you solve math problems quicker. It helps you use mental math, okay? That's the goal, quick, right? Quickly to solve these problems. And then I'm not done. We have to use the right strategy, read, draw, write. So Jenny has 75 cards now or in total. Okay, good, good work. Very, very nice. Now we're moving on to our conceptual development. Basically, we're going to use the associative property to make a hundred in one addend. I'll say that again. Use the associative property to make a hundred in one addend. What does that mean? Uh, what is the associative property, right? Okay. So the associative property is basically where the sum is the same regardless of the grouping, right? The sum is the same regardless of the grouping. And I'll explain that this further in our, in our sample problem. But basically, to uh, dissect this uh, concept, uh, teaching point, you want to understand that basically what you're going to do today, we're going to learn today is how to simplify a number sentence to increase our mental math. How to, we're going to learn how to simplify a number sentence to increase our mental math. And how are we going to do this? We're going to do this by using a number bond by getting the next 100. How are we going to do this? We're going to use a number bond to get to the, to, to, we're going to use a number bond to get to the next 100 or the next 10. Basically, some similar, similar, similar to our application problem. But here we're, we're, we're going to be working on what's the next 10. We're going to ask ourselves, what's the next 10 instead of what, I mean, we're going to ask ourselves, what's the next 100 instead of the next 10? because again, we're using bigger three-digit numbers now. We're using three-digit numbers. Okay, great, because the goal of module five is we're moving on from two-digit numbers to three-digit numbers, okay? With sim very similar strategies as module four. So let's look at problem number one. Here you have 190 plus 460. 190 plus 460. Now, when you look at this number sentence originally, it might look quite complex. Right, like, oh my goodness, I have to do a lot of work here. But we can simplify this. We can simplify this problem. And that's what we're learning how to do today. So these are the steps. I would like for you to screenshot this, 
or take a picture of this chart. Basically, the steps are include number one, decompose the second number using a number bond. Number two, ask, what will give me the next hundred? Record the leftover number. And then step three, add the new total with the leftover. Number four, write the new number sentence. I'll say that again, okay? So basically, decompose the second number using a number bond, okay? Ask, what will give me the next hundred? Record the leftover number. Whoops, my chart fell down. And that's okay. We will fix it. Um, so moving on. Add the new total with the leftover and then write the new number sentence. Okay, so watch me as I do this work. You're going to look at problem number one. So 190 plus 460. It says decompose the second number using a number bond. So this is the second addict. We're looking at the second addict, okay? Then we have to ask ourselves, what will give me the next 100? So if I look at 190, what will give me the next 100, okay? So you always look at the number that was closest to the next 100, okay? And you dissect the, dissect the adjacent number, okay? So 190 is closer to the next 100. So I'm going to dissect this number to get that get that, that decomp the, the, the number to make this into a, the, to the next 100, okay? So then it says, what will give me the next 100? 10, right? 190 plus 10 will give me the next 100. So then I have to find what the leftover is. So 10 plus 450 is 460. Next step, add the new total with the leftover. So basically, we have 190 plus 10 is 200. And then we add 200 and 450 to get 650. Did you see that? So we add these to get the next 100. We add the new to the total with the leftover, and you get 650. And then you write the, same, the, the problem right here, the simplified number sentence. So 200 plus 450 equals 650. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Isn't this so amazing? And the reason we do this, basically we're trying to use the associative property because this helps us simplify num the number sentence and solve it quickly. The goal in math um, is to look at numbers and try to see that there's other conceptually visualize, the, vis understand number sense. So the goal is to understand number sense. So if you look at this number, you can also visually conceptualize it and see it in another way. Right? Understanding number sense. Okay? That's the goal. Let's look at problem number two. 380 plus 430. Okay? This is where I want you to work with me. Here you watched me. Now I would like for you to take out a paper and pen, or pencil, I mean, and work on this. So 380 plus 430. Let's follow the steps. Okay? Ready? Decompose the, the number that's closest to the next 100. Okay? Using a number bond. So it seems like 380 it's closest to the next 100, correct? Because this is a little farther out. This one is closer. Okay, then I have to ask myself, what will give me the next 100? So out of this number, what will give me the next 100 for this? Let me see, 300 for the first add -in. 380 for this add-in here. 380 plus 20 will give me the next 100, which is 400, okay? So I break, I, so I decompose this number to 20, and what's, the left, what's left over? 410. I take out the 20, I have 410 left over, okay? Then it says, add, add these two numbers to get 400, and then add the total, the new total, to the leftover. So 400 plus 410 is 810. Write the number sentence right here, you see that? So 400 plus 410 equals 810. 400, there's the 400, all you did was you just took that number over there. 410 equals plus 410 equals 810. Again, this and this are associated with each other. Do you see that? This number sentence and this number sentence are associated with each other. How? Because they have the same total. This is just a simple, simplified number sentence. Got it? Give your thumbs up if you got it. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, good work. All right. Awesome, awesome job. Okay, let's look at problem number three. Third, now we're going, they're asking us to convert 30 to 10. 30 to 10 equals what? Okay, so 
this should be very easy for a lot of um, a lot of students by now, right? Because we know 32 times is 320 very quickly, right? Because we've been working on um, units, which is right all module module four. We've been working on units, which is even in module three. But now, I mean prior. Now, um, to visually see this, for some students who are still stuck stuck on this, 32 tens equals 320. How is that? You, if this is is difficult for you or challenging for you, you can make your place value chart and then draw 32 tens right here, right? And then I, what I did was I represented them in rows of tens, right? So it's easier to conceptually see it, visually see it. So here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Okay, and then you do a unit switch. Remember the rule. So I have 10 tens here, turn it into 100. 10 tens, turn it into 200. 10 tens, turn it into another 100. So here you have 300, right? So now you take, you see what, you have 300 here, two left over, two tens, and then zero ones. There you go, 320. There's your 320. Got it? Okay, moving on. Now we're, they, uh, the question is 19 tens. What is 19 tens plus 11 tens? What is 19 tens plus 11 tens? So you have to ask yourself. You can, again, use the associative property to make 100 and then what in one added, okay? Basically, you can simplify this as well, okay? So let's see how. So you have to ask yourself, what do I need to take out to make the next 10? What do I need to take out to make the next 10 from here, right? Because this 19 tens is closest, right? to the next 10. So let's see, I have to take out a one, okay? Then I write the leftover. So if I take out a one from the 11 tens, one, right? One 10, then I have 10 tens left over, okay? So now, what do I do? I add this, right, and this. Same procedure as the, the, the previous samples, okay? So 19 tens plus one 10 is 20 tens plus 10 tens, because that's, you add the leftover, equals 30 tens. Got it? Equals 30 tens. Awesome, awesome job. So I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, this is a very simple lesson, very easy. I love it. It's actually fun. I know a lot of my students love doing using number bonds throughout the year because number bonds are fun, right? It's like a video game. It's so much fun. Basically, you're trying to see what's the next 10 or what's the next 100. You take out that number. You um, record the the leftover, you add the 30, the, 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 you make this into the, turn it into the next 10, add the leftover, and you find the total. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Isn't this awesome? Originally, if you look at the conceptual development, you're like, ah, what are they talking about? But it's so simple, okay? I hope you guys had fun. I miss you guys. And again, I hope to see you soon next week. Take care. Bye.